Have you always wanted to have an epic Formula One style racing wheel for your Trustmaster? With rev lights and everything, and many buttons and switches which you can configure in any game. Well, this low budget solution might be the option for you. With a simple Sim Raceway uh, Steel Series SRW S1, which costs between like 40 50 euros in the average countries, and a few 3D prints, you can get really far in getting your dream come true. In this video, I'll explain to you how to do it. See you there. Now, first of all, I am aware this wheel is no longer sold in stores, but you can get plenty of them on eBay. Uh, uh, for example, here are three or four examples from the uh, United States. Of course, but uh, I guess mainly there is why you want to get it um, for ch pretty cheap price 40 uh, 50 euros still uh, of course without shipping and here is my 3d designed clamp It's really simple. You know um, every hole has a, has a function let's say and uh, Basically what all you need to do is uh, also if you have a reprint uh, print this this um, Adapter which is by Ram Ramjet X and uh, as you can see it fit, fits perfectly on the holes that I uh, pre-made into uh, the uh, clamp and uh, the, the fun fact is uh, in these things of course you will put the M5 screws which should be 20 millimeters long and in the middle you will put a M4 screw which will, uh, which will be uh, sorry 25 millimeters long this way it will, everything will fit perfectly once you uh, screw it of course with the middle hole I'll actually one day show you that perfectly but by the middle one you basically uh, attach the clamp and everything to the steering wheel and via the other holes you attach the clamp to the to the to the adapter and then you can easily quick release it from the steering wheel and uh, just you know use it whenever you like and uh, here's a little video showing you the wheel in action and me explaining you a little bit about it so basically with the clamp and the quick release attached um, you can see it, it's really solid you know it can maybe be a bit a little bit wobbly but that's the only thing of movement there is Basically any button is working, you know, I, I can basically configure for example uh, a secondary clutch on the right uh, lever here, you know uh, And actually, a, uh, which is nice, a, um, a access handbrake if you need it for radicals and stuff, you know, on the left I'm putting here of course as an example eye racing, but um, uh, Basically all the buttons that I configure work uh, And of course also the LEDs, which I have to also thank file LEDs for and of course my BBG uh, race, sim racing uh, button box here I have for the fun you know, configured to start the engine and stuff so, so basically as you can see the, the LEDs are now flashing because we are on pit limiter but as, as, as you actually will leave the pits here and, um, so stop you know we can uh, with the look left you know look right this, this is obvious the pit limit I actually haven't put here but I actually put I think I put it on boost or launch speed yeah launch, uh, launch control there we go because for me personally this, this will not be for you my pin limit button is broken, so because <laughs> I might have dropped it there. But basically, you know, the normal shifters you can use as shifters while still using the servo from the Trustmaster. In my case, the TSPC race and the pedals to drive and uh, steer and, uh, and everything, accelerate, brake. But you still have a really nice custom, well, kind of custom wheel here with LEDs, a lot of buttons which all work uh, for the price of basically nothing else close to it. Uh, when you look at the price of this basic wheel, of course you need to have the 3D prints and uh, of the, bo both the adapter, which I will show you later in this video, and um, and, the, and the basically the clamp that I designed. But once you got all that, you can basically use this wheel on a base, like it is a proper custom add-on wheel, you know. And the fun fact is, uh, of course, it uses a, use, use a USB cable, but you can just drop that over your leg and it won't bother too much. As I will show you now of a rough car, rough car entry. You know, of course, I have, don't have too much re-steering, that is a thing you have to consider. You want to go max to 270, I think, uh, to, not have, to not have bollocks with the cable when you're driving, but for the moment, the LEDs are working with Final Lads once more, so thanks to Gavin Ball uh, for creating that uh, program, which makes it really easy to you know, configure those uh, LEDs, which are also LEDs, sorry, which I'll also show you uh, later in a few moments, but as you can see, it's fully functional, you know, I can look right, left, I can adjust all kinds of things, I think, oops, I drive into the wall here. This is my brake button bias, which I'm adjusting now whilst I'm driving into the wall everywhere, but besides that, I, you know, it's, it's working, you know, and it's really solid, so. 
it's not moving anywhere. Uh, my previous, um, um, uh, where you said the creation, which I tried to make, did move about. But with this um, salt clamp, you know, you don't even need to use um, nuts for the for the screws, uh, which you will attach to this uh, thing. You know, so it's really nice. And as I'm driving, like I'm on, we will go on to the uh, well on the computer. Let's say that uh, footage. So thank you for watching this bit. I'll see you there. And then here I will quickly also show you the fan nuts program. Uh, it's quite simple actually. Um, as you have of course connected both the wheel as well as the SRW S1 uh, steering wheel. Uh, you just select that hardware and uh, just click the button, uh, actually the, the LED of which you want to uh, basically configure it. What I would do is configure the first three or so as 11% and 22% and so forth and so on, you know. And, and uh, the, basically the only the last LED I would actually configure as 100% of the refs. Uh, for, uh, so basically I'm showing you here what I've done, you know, in my settings and actually I'm adjusting it a little bit, but it's really simple, you know, and once you've done this, uh, all you gotta do is uh, on the on the right middle bottom, let's say, <laughs> put it from left to right, you know, the first option, click close, and save settings to device or whatever it's, it's called, um, and go racing, as you will see right now a little bit more. Now, thank you for watching. I will leave the information on uh, which exact tools you need, which crews you need, as well as, of course, the links to, to the 3D files for you, free to download. And uh, feel free, of course, to do donate via the link, uh, which is also there. My name is Shadow7, and I hope you soon will have an epic F1-style racing wheel just like me.